everybody. Sunday morning, that is. It's Sunday afternoon. We was up early this morning. We went out to Skeggy and had a breakfast on the seafront, didn't we? Yeah. And then I said, you can come home to the showroom and pick any car you like. Woohoo! What one would you have, baby? You like a soft top. Always have done. I've had that second. Now, I've never had a Volkswagen buggy. Quite cute. I like the noise they make. We've had a Mini. Yeah, what more than I've ever had? Maybe that, I think. Well, what do you think of them? Have I done a good job? These are the one, two, three. I had them all in order. Now you've bucked out all the order That's now. That's the look. order I'd have them. <sighs> all right, then. I'll ask you a question. Which one of them is now worth the most? If they was full size. I'd have to say the Mark II Cortina. No, that wouldn't be worth no. much. Well, when I say much, it'd be that. The bug or the meat. That, now this? that is, I didn't realise what that was. That is a Alpha. Alpha, Alpha Cab Cab Cabrio. No. Caribo. Caribo. That's the one. Yeah. Now apparently they only made one of these, so I was told, or so I've read, and it was a prototype, I think, but it was in a different colour than that. Was it oh, blue? Wasn't it? You might be. That's not horrible, Sharon. I don't like it. That's the first car that I had as a kid, and I remember. Well, I say the first car. Well, I had dollies, funny enough. It's the car that I had as a child, and I, when I saw that, it rekindled my childhood I memories. I remember Herbie. Yeah, but that's not Herbie, Sharon. I did have a Herbie as a girl. I did have a Herbie. And when I restored this one, someone did point out that on the front there should be a little Monte Carlo rally sticker. I haven't got one on there. Of course, there. why don't you do things correctly? Why have you always got to be pulled up? Hey, I'm getting old, Sharon. <laughs> he makes mistakes. Yeah, well, I'm human, baby. Hey. I won't go on about your mistakes. Anyway, that's another I story. Daily. So anyway, I've got another one coming out. I don't, don't tell him what it is. I don't know. Oh, I'm telling him what it is, but I can't show him it, can I? A transit van. It's not the big one that I showed you, the uh, white one. It was oh, yeah, a white I've one. I've seen it. I've seen it. You've seen it. It's done. That's going to be uploaded on Tuesday. Can uh, I about... bash them? Sure, shall. Don't bash them. You bloody bash them. They're not for playing. They're for, they're for display. Now I'm going to have loads of cars everywhere. No, you ain't, Sharon. Well, you might have, because I've also exactly. got these. Thanks. He doesn't, he doesn't give them to the grandchildren. She's just cleared out her room for her. She's got a say. Uh, you still got a load of junk All in right, there. All right, I'm just explaining to no. her, baby. Can I finish a sentence? No. She's cleaned out my old office, which is a little room we got at the end of the corridor there, and I'll give it to her. Oh, for, wow. For a hobby, which is a... What do you call Sewing. it? Sewing. Needlecraft. Needlecraft, is it? But she's got a £500 blinking look. Oh, my. She's got a £500... Sewing machine, oh, computerised and all it's that. It's business. And uh, anyway, she, she plays about in there. Love it. You know we're not doing the t-shirts no more. We've still got to decorate the dining room and all that and still make it an office at the end of the I'll day. I'm starting that But anyway, week. so she started clearing it out. And I forgot, I forgot I had these. I bought these from auction, oh, years ago. I think I paid 10 or 12 pounds for the whole lot of them. Let's show you what we got here. Now these are the ones I do like. They're the Vanguard cars. Now again, I, I didn't pick these out. These come as a job lot. And there's a, what's that, an A40 van there, as you can see, all boxed, all totally unique and individual. This is a Morris Minor Traveller, as you can see there. That'd probably be worth a few, but about 25 quid on its own, something like that, 30 quid maybe. Oh, there's a Beetle there, look. That's a 1950s to 1960s split screen Beetle. That's a nice one. I like them, Triumph Heralds. Yeah, the Triumph Heralds, again, I would imagine they, they, they've come up really in, in uh, value, these Triumph Heralds in full size Sharon, as opposed to having the little ones, yeah? So, and <clears throat> I forgot that I had the Triumph Dolomite Sprint as well. I've brought that new one, as you know, which is a uh, damaged. This one isn't damaged. This is uh, totally complete, and it's a, I think it's a rally car spec one. And I've also got this uh, Ford Angler. Again, the Van Card's cars are very, very detailed, and uh, they have got little certificates in them, I think, if I remember rightly. And, uh, tax discs, wasn't it, you said? Little, yeah, but that's just a... And someone told me that the number plates on these cars, you probably can't see that, now. But they've got a number plate on there. Should we open it? And they reckon they are... Yeah, if you want to open one, show me. Show me. Look how detailed they are, Sharon. Harry Potter. Well, that's what everyone thinks now when they see a full angle, and not that one. Right, there's the paperwork in the bottom there. This comes in all these Vanguard cars. And there's a wing mirrors on there which is missing off of that one that's damaged as you know oh, no number plate oh it's no, obviously it's got that on you have to open, open that up show that just show the people the detail on these cars look these are really I know I can't get too near because it's a, a a GoPro I'm using here but let's try and get under there no that's even worse I mean the detail on these oh things, there it is oh there's yeah, a selection of number plates oh, let's show me what you got there baby 
Oh yeah, they, they give you a list of all different number plates there. So what, they're genuine number plates? Well, someone told me that these were genuine Could number plates. Could you imagine plates. if you'd seen your number plate, how exciting well, yeah. that would be? I know. I'd be excited. Well, the other Dolomite sprint I got, not this one, the other one, it's got a very, you said that, the number plate's similar to my one, isn't it? My Dolomite sprint, I had yeah. Say yes, sir. Look, I can't see you. Yes, Martin. Yes. So, yeah, these, I didn't really, I'm not, I'm not going to sell these, but I just forgot that I had them. I've had these literally years and years, and they've just been sitting in that little office on the shelf there at the back, not really doing, well, not doing anything, not on no, display. Just collecting dust. Literally, yeah. So they're worth a few, Bob. These little things here, they're back to A1 condition. I'm very happy with these, Sharon. I've done a very good job there. And I think I've got better and better. Do you? Yeah. And someone else said that as well. So uh, I'm happy with that. Anyway, cut a long story short. My Vauxhall Signum, I've still got a problem with the headlights. We went out, you know I changed the bulbs in them. Well, we went out in one evening and you literally can't see 10 yards, 15 yards in front of you to the extent where anything above 40 miles an hour in a pitch black dark, because a lot of the roads up here haven't got light. And apparently it's a common thing on the pre-facelift models, which mine is, that they had very poor side lights or dip beam lights. Now again, I went online and I found a pair of uh, higher rated bulbs to go in. And they were Nighthawks, I think, something like that. But they was an LED bulb. And unbeknown to me, I've never dealt with them before. As soon as I put them in, both the computer in the car registered that there was a fault on both beam, uh, dip beams. So every time I turn the lights on, I have to reset the computer because that comes up. It was a little bit better, but still nowhere near what they should be. So then I started looking in the forums. And apparently, as I said to you, very poor lights the uh, Vauxhall Signums uh, pre-facelifts have. And they said that you've got to get xenon lights with the external ballast. And uh, you also need the car, the car's computer uh, reset or rechip to show that you've put xenon lights in it. So this is all something which I haven't done before. And then again, I'm still not sure whether or not, because you can get them in different outputs. 3.8K Kelvin or whatever it is up to 8k or 9, 9k or whatever. Um, so I'm not sure what Kelvin to go for, whether you stick to 3.84 or go up to 8k or something like that. Because like, one thing I hate when, when people are coming towards you with these new type of lights is very bright, dazzling lights. So, but obviously I want to improve it, so um, I've got to do something. So there'll be a videos coming up on that when I decide the right way to go. But as I say, you've got to get into the... the uh, the computer on the uh, that in, in the engine bay or something and activate the xenon switch in the software to show that you've got xenon lights and the reason for that is apparently because the xenon lights require 13.8 volts instead of 12 volts or whatever and that's probably why you have the external ballast baby see if i were to do all this who would Boring. do it it cost you a fortune in blinking money baby yeah and I could see a full she, yeah, well, she drove the, the Vauxhall, my car, the other day. Yeah. And I got a phone call yesterday when I was asleep. No, I got my son out Oh, first, right, you got Jimmy you. out. But I was asleep, wasn't I? I still had to come out, though, didn't I? She got a puncher. Front wheel. It wasn't her fault, because the side wall had uh, split. So tomorrow I've got to go down. We put the temporary wheel on, but uh, it was uh, Saturday at four o'clock, wasn't it? Your son-in-law sold you a duff car. <laughs> Sharon, it's just the Benjamin way it goes. But I said to him, I said to him, I said, he's had that car for uh, quite a few years and his dad, dad had it for him. I said, how did you get on at night? They had the torch on their heads. <laughs> no, they probably just never went out at night, Sharon. Well, he did, because he'd done nights, didn't well, he? Well, I, I, I don't know, Sharon. Why do you keep going like because that? Because I don't understand. It's a oh. common thing with signums. I didn't know that, oh. but we do now. So, so we need, so we need your And I've looked online and you can't find a video of someone uprating these lights. So have a guess who's going to be doing one. Don't know. Me, baby. Anyway, so that's that. What else have we got going on? Show them your little project. Because she does this uh, sewing thing. Man. Don't do the t-shirts anymore, do we, baby? No. Let's move these cars out. I've started quilting. Quilting. Show them what you've done this so far. This is my far. second attempt. This is the Lincolnshire fat colours. Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire fat colours? Football colours. Well, say the proper words, baby. And that's for my grandson. She cuts Cyprus. all these squares out. Look. She ain't finished this yet. This is no. like, you're going to pad it and all that, aren't you? Yeah, I've got to iron it and I'm going to put the padding underneath and the backing. And it's for his little bed. 
So when he goes to bed, he can think of his nana. That's so nice, isn't it? That's the Lincoln City colours. Yeah. Oh, I see a booby there. Straight away. It's not a sore from. Come up here. Come up here. Right up here. To... Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I know. Come on. But we'll show you. No, time. I want to see it. <laughs> Like well, you, show your mistakes. It's my second attempt. I'm not saying that. What's happened there? Look. I oh, know. Look, gone wrong. Cut she, look, the, yeah, no. Miscut. That's it doesn't all matter. Right. That drew. That drew. That was, that was like a flight of a pile of put. That was to my eye. That was. Oh, shut up. No, well, that's good. It's my it's, second attempt. It's people. all part of the learning curve, baby. Yes, it is. And I like it. The only thing that counts is oh, George right. likes it. And you can think of his nanny when he's. Huddled under it. What are you doing? That's the dog. Oh, it's his tail. I thought she, his tail was in the floor. I thought she was rumbling farts out. Well, that's what I looked for. I thought I didn't see the dog laying in the corner. As I walk around, his tail. So bad. His tail's in the in the. Can you hear it? Oh, he's so handsome. I thought Best it was her uh, pumping one out. <laughs> It's a bit dark here. I know it's a bit dark because we haven't got our studio lights on. Right, um, what, what can I show them now, shall? Why don't we just go and let people get on with their Sundays? No, well, this is part of their Sunday. I want to go and finish my do my own and get on. Oh, right, you don't do because that. Because my next job is decorating the dining room. No, we're doing that, shall? Don't be no, silly. I can't wait. You've got to do it upstairs. Yeah, I know that. I've got a bathroom to fix I love upstairs. decorating, so he's not doing it. What? I'll ask his advice on I'm, I'm telling you, you can't do it, baby. Why can't I do it? Because I'm here. There's technicalities in there involved. There's matching up and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I can do all that, thank you very much. Look at your mum's bedroom. Yeah, There's nothing right. wrong with that. It's matched up perfect. When you've done the bedroom with me, you mucks it up. Don't tell people that, Sharon. I've done decorating for years. I've, I've actually done decorating. As, you don't enjoy it. As a I enjoy it. That's the difference. No, I don't enjoy it, Sharon, because I've done so much of it. Well, I enjoy it. Over the years. And I'm doing it. When we was, uh, oh, well, when was it? Many years ago, We was I was MBS. Martin Butler Services many years ago. We used to do decorating, we used to do plumbing, electrical, carpentry, all that sort of stuff, done all that sort of gear. Car repair, then we had a car repair business, MBS Auto Body and Maintenance, mobile, working out the back of a transit van, funny enough, going around to people's houses, so I'd done all that as well. That's before I worked for Sky TV. Then I had a burger van, done that as well. Oh, that was his restaurant business when he was in the restaurant. When I was, when I was in the restaurant trade. Yeah. <laughs> Burger van. Yeah, so I've done that as well. I've done many things in my life, Sharon. I've done many things. I've done singing. I've done singing at uh, karaoke. I've done karaoke, discos, all that. Done all that gear. Give that up in the 2000s, not Sharon? Early 2000s, wasn't it? From the age of 14 up to 2000. I covered all spectrum, Sharon. All genres. And anything in the charts now, I ain't got a clue. All I know is, I'll tell you what I know, Sharon. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do do. Hey, you know that one? When you when you got grandchildren, you know all these kids' songs, yeah, sure. And you can't get them out of your head. Anyway, what character work's gone wrong? It's what? It's a one off. I didn't say that, Sharon. It's a one off. It's character. These are one offs. My little cars. Look. There you go. Look. There's not another purple carabo. Harry both. They, they don't make the red with a black mini roof on the old classic like that, like I've done. And that's for that little cabriolet which I've done. I've actually done the interior, as you know. Can you see I've done the seats red inside it as well, look. Hey, little red stripes on it. Aye, aye. Lovely. Very nice. And uh, I won't take them outside. It's, it's, the weather's lousy outside. I want to get the transit van done very shortly. I want to get back on the... The trotter van, as you know. I want the transit van to leave the premises. Yeah, well, it will be, Sharon. It will be, but I can't let it go like that, can I? Yeah, I went to start it out the other day. Ain't been started for again for a while. First turn of the key. Good van there. Anyone want to buy it? Come on, make your offers now. Make, make your offers now. The trifle claim's got to be finished, as you oh, know. Oh, get rid of that, no. I've just laid the boot on that. Let me go and show you. Come on, let's go out the front. I'm not going out the front. It's work. Not asking you to, <clears throat> So this has got to be sprayed, as you know, that's not the right number plate on there, by the way, that's not the number plate for this car. Uh, there's not much to do with this, it's got to cut a little bit of a uh, surface rush around the side, but I'll just give that a rub down, we can spray that down Jimmy's unit. So yeah, the Sigma, these lights here, look, these here, the side lights, they're a H7 bulb, that's just two terminals on them, and they've got the little magnifying lenses in front, they're absolutely useless. I know you've got the controller inside where you turn the 
knob and it, it raises and lowers them. It does that all right, but as I say, there's just no, there's no throw on them. It's literally 10 yards in front of the car, so I've got to sort them out. And this, as I said, is a pre-facelift model. And HIDs are apparently the way to go. Then on lights, the, the external ballast, you've got to turn the computer switch on in the uh, software to tell them that you've got Xenon headlights and then they operate at 13.8 volts apparently that's what I've read so far so there's that over there you can't see there's the transit has got to be finished off uh, I've not touched that literally since November this year uh, last year so uh, that's all got to be done and the other side's got to be sorted out as well yeah so loads to do a lot of you have been asking about the Triumph Acclaim well the Triumph Acclaim as you know is absolutely filthy at the moment um, it's covered in Absolutely, I've not, I've not touched it, I've not rubbed it or whatever, but that all wants cutting back now. It's, it's perfect underneath, believe it or not, so don't worry about how filthy it looks like. Let me show you how dirty it is. You can't see. It really, it, it's, it's basically very, very shiny underneath. You can't really see it, but if you look at the previous Try For Claim videos, you know what's underneath there. So it's absolutely uh, perfect underneath, believe it or not. There's not much more to do to this, really, to be honest with you. Uh, I've got to sort the wheels out. I've got to sort the uh, one of the gaiters on the front there. It's damaged. I've got a new one for that. The bonnet's got to be bolted back on. Uh, detailed trim put on the inside in, in the back there, so that's not a problem. And uh, yeah, just basically a good clean over. Do the brakes on it. And happy days, that can go then. But if someone wants to make me an offer for it, is it stash just for me to get out of the way? Well, I mean, just drop me an email. My email is in the description. So if you want to take it off my hands and finish the work yourself, it's entirely up to you. Not much more to do now. I've got, as I say, I've got other things I've got to be doing now. I want the trot van finished. That's one of my priorities this year, and uh, that's why I've been spending a lot of money buying the parts for that. Anyway, I'm going to go. I just thought we'd put this little fast blast vlog out on this Sunday afternoon. Just give you something to watch, and as I say, watch my diecast restoration videos if you're interested in them. And if you're not, don't watch them. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.